Well, it's 11.26. I've been out here oh, about four hours approximately. I spent about four hours and 25 minutes yesterday, so I'm eight hours and 25 minutes into it. And um, I've got all this in here ground down as good as I'm going to get it. And uh, I just wanted to show, got a big old 300-watt uh, uh, floodlight underneath there. And, um, I don't know if you can tell much, but um, there's no light shining through. So, I've got a good solid weld all the way around it. And I've checked all the way around. I checked all the way through. I moved the light all the way around underneath it to where I could uh, see if I had any pinholes showing. And I have not seen any. And, uh, you can see there's some little dark spots where the weld are, is. That's just because I didn't bother getting the, the weld ground down completely smooth. Um, I just roughed up the top of it good. I'm going to get a wire brush and clean all that out of there. And I'll put some uh, fiberglass reinforced body filler all around the top of this. It'll make that waterproof just in case. You know, like I said, the light's not showing through any place, so I don't think we've got to worry about any water. We don't have to worry about any water seeping in from the top side going down there. And uh, underneath, um, I was going to do a, a full weld all the way around the bottom underneath there. But as most of you guys are probably like me, I don't like all the sparks falling down on me and getting up in my nose and in my ears and in my hair. So I just uh, did a bunch of spot welds. They're about a half inch apart from each other. I've got them ground down a little bit right now. I'm too tired to do any more. Been out here, oh, about four hours tonight, so. Um, tomorrow I'll come out here and finish grinding the bottom. And um, then, after I got the bottom finished grinding, that's when I'll get the fiberglass reinforced body filler up here. Get that on, and I'll just, I'm just gonna do a quick sanding around it with my DA. Get uh, smoothed up pretty good because the inside of that opening is far from perfect, and I'm not going to worry about making it exactly smooth. You know, it it'll look good when it's painted. You'll never, you won't look any different than what the factory was. But uh, on the bottom down there, um, I'm going to get a wire brush and clean in between two layers of metal good and get all that uh, soot out from any welding soot that's in there, and then I'll. Uh, Boil out good, clean it all off. Get some epoxy underneath there and um, up here. Let that dry. And then I'm going to go underneath and uh, scotch right all around the edge. And uh, then put the epoxy on my square bead all the way around where the welds are, or where the two layers of metal are. And I'm going to cover with a bondo spreader about oh, three quarters of an inch wide, probably, and force it up in there. I'll probably work on. I don't know, maybe a five or six inch section at a time that way. I don't have to worry about it setting up. Push it down in the cracks good and move around, get all that done. Let that dry overnight and come out here and sand all that tomorrow. Because uh, that, uh, that uh, semi rigid uh, seam seller I use uh, right here. number on it I can't remember what it is now I posted a while back but um I used a self leveling and that one there is not self leveling it's black it's a 3M uh, heavy body seems so is what it is but um it dries in about eight minutes in say 75 degree weather so um but I'm just gonna let it dry overnight that way I know it's good and cured out and then I can just get under there with the DA. Um, who knows, I may take a, a paint paddle or something, or a rubber sanding block, 
and go around some 80 grit first and then go back over with a DA and some 180 grit and uh, then we'll if it if I go to bare metal anywhere I'll put some more epoxy over that and then leave that and uh, then the bottom of it I'm going to leave the gas tank out because uh, we got to get the whole winery to this thing uh, under coated because um, the floor pan up there does not have anything but e coat on the bottom side of it and I didn't want to put undercoating on it and then put it in the car and then take a chance of it catching on fire because it was so fresh while I was welding on it. Anyway, so that's the update for tonight. I'm getting ready to call it quits. I'm going to get cleaned up. I got to splice two videos together here. I was doing the first one and my camera shut off for some reason. I got to splice this one with the other one. But uh, as always, uh, like the video, leave a thumbs up. Um, if you've got any questions, ask, I'll answer whatever questions you have. And uh, subscribe to the channel and share with your friends. And be sure to click the little bell to get all the updates. Thanks for watching.